Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Susie Foodie and today's video is about Italy and traveling tips and tricks when you go there uh, no matter how long you're there for. So I hope some of these things do help you. Before I went to Italy, I researched and looked at blogs, vlogs, articles, you name it. And there were some things I didn't know about even after that research from locals and native Italians over there and Americans that have been living there for a while. So I hope some of these extra things that you might not see in other vlogs and articles help you out. So first tip, uh, don't fall for tourist traps. Places that have a guy outside trying to hand you a menu, uh, usually those aren't the best places to go to since they're trying so hard to get a customer already. Uh, the best places are the ones that already have a bunch of people seated. I mean, it's kind of like that here, except people don't really approach you to go into their restaurant. Try going to Trattorias or Osterias. They're more low-key, more authentic places. And even another little tip, uh, menus that are handwritten, uh, those places have fresh food on the daily. Second thing, don't take food to go. That goes for drinks too. Uh, people over there don't really take food on the go and walk around and eat. I guess it's not seen as appealing and appearances are everything over there. So don't be walking around with your cornetto and whatnot. That goes for coffee too. Don't be walking around with a to-go coffee cup. Over there, coffee culture is pretty important. Going to the bar and seeing your barista and ordering your coffee there. Yeah, just for, you know, a couple minutes, maybe even get to know your barista. It's not like Starbucks over there and you won't ever find a Starbucks. Only one is in Milan and that is also a tourist trap. Uh, Italians don't go to Starbucks at all. So yeah, like I said, coffee culture is a very big thing over in Italy. Uh, don't be drinking uh, coffee with any milk in it after noon. So they believe that having coffee with milk after noon would be kind of heavy on your stomach right before lunch, which is not a good thing. So most people drink espresso after 12. Third thing, if you're there for a long time and you are craving some sort of other type of food besides Italian food. It's going to be very hard for you to find. I've had Asian food and it was okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I didn't even have tacos for like three months, which kind of sucked because there wasn't really any Mexican food places. So yeah, you will just have to deal with that when you're over there if you're there for a long time. Fourth thing, uh, fashion is very big over there. Uh, appearances are everything, as I said before. So always making sure you look good and uh, athleisure is looked down upon. You will get some eyes if you're wearing some athleisure. Shoes are everything as well. Shoes are actually one of the most Googled things by Italians, which is kind of wild. But yeah, always making sure you're presentable when you're out and about. You will get eyes, but hey, if you don't care, you don't care. Fifth thing, I think, I forgot, but uh, traveling and transportation. A good amount of the time, it's on time, but the bus can be kind of late. I can't say public transportation is always reliable over there, but for the most part it is. Always make sure you have your paid ticket with you. I've seen the police hop on the bus and check everybody's ticket. Uh, some tourists had an unpaid ticket and they took them outside. I don't know what happened to them after, but yikes. Just make sure you have your paid ticket with you at all times. You can pretty much travel anywhere by train, by bus, and get almost anywhere in Italy. There's some places that do require driving a car 
like Positano or the Amalfi Coast. I drove to Positano and Amalfi. I must say Italian drivers are pretty uh, wild. Uh, another important thing is that they do not have Uber or Lyft over there in Italy. It is banned. So if you want to get around, you have to take the taxi. They actually have an app for the taxi that you can take, which is basically like Uber, I guess. If you're a pedestrian and you're trying to walk across the street, you definitely have to be careful about that. Make sure that before you cross, you have enough time for them to know that you're about to cross and just go for it but also make sure that you kind of look at them in the face and uh, let them know that hey i'm crossing don't dare go <laughs> walking with groups is always a good thing too uh just a couple other miscellaneous things if you're worried about people not understanding english they do for the most part most people in Europe speak English, so you don't really have to worry about that too much. Might be helpful to know a couple phrases. Pickpocketers are around, so when you are on the bus or on public transportation or just walking around, make sure your purse is in front of you, zipped, locked, whatever. Don't just hold your phone out. Someone's probably gonna take it, so be careful about that. Ladies, guys will catcall you probably doesn't really matter what you're wearing. I mean, if you are wearing something a little showy, you might get catcalled. I didn't get catcalled too many times when I was over there. I wore pretty conservative clothing. I wore a dress one time and it did have some cleavage and the, I got catcalled like pretty much the whole day. Mostly it was older men, so I don't know. I'm, I'm not gonna say that it's only older men. Sometimes I've seen some young men, but yeah. So if you don't already know, but you should know, uh, Italy is predominantly Catholic. I mean, hello, the Vatican is there. And if you are trying to go inside one of the cathedrals, make sure that you are dressed conservatively. No flip-flops, no shorts no scandalous looking clothing before you go in and this is kind of a given but if you don't like smoke that's too bad everybody smokes in Italy pretty much so you're just gonna have to get used to that disclaimer I'm not Italian or anything I was there for three months and I've learned from observation as well as natives and other people that have lived there for a while telling me some of these uh, tips and tricks and some stereotypes some that are kind of true sometimes if you agree or disagree with me feel free to comment down below if you think i missed anything uh, also comment down below i'll be happy to have a conversation with you if I forgot anything, I might just put it down in the description. And if you haven't subscribed already, uh, make sure you do that. I hope these tips and tricks help you along your way while you're traveling in Italy. Alright guys, I'll see you again later. Bye!